Trucks are huge vehicles, but with key systems similar to those that we know from passenger cars and vans. However, proper engine cooling and turbocharging system operation is critical for trucks. With a commercial supply duty, they are supposed to cover hundreds of thousands of kilometers. A breakdown is not an option here. Thus, preventing and fixing the component's premature failure is the key. Today, we will be servicing a popular truck model. Watch this video to see how we repair Scania R450. We will troubleshoot the engine cooling and the turbocharging system and fix the issues found. Among others, we will check and replace the intercooler and the turbo. With a big vehicle comes a big job, but no worries, Nissan's experts are here for you. Scania R450 is one of the most popular Euro 6 models. The introduction of this emission standard forced several design changes, and not only in trucks. The vehicle we are working on today has a lot of faults, including coolant loss, which is actually the failure that the driver noticed. Another fault is the lack of power, the check engine light, and engine operating in the limp mode. With the engine cooling system, the issue is quite obvious. The radiator is leaky. In the case of the turbocharging system, I have diagnosed problems with the intercooler, but I also intend to dismantle the turbocharger, which I suspect, consequently, got already worn out. It's time to get to work. Let's diagnose the set we've dismounted from Scania. Let's see what we've got. The condenser, the intercooler, and the radiator. We'll start with the intercooler. The oil in the corner indicates a leak, meaning that the turbocharger cannot generate enough pressure in the system because some of the air escapes into the atmosphere. Therefore, an error is displayed on the dashboard, and hence, the lack of power. This all means that the intercooler in this truck definitely needs to be replaced. Now the radiator. From this side. It looks like new. But when you take it out... There is a visible leak within the water tank. This will be the reason for the failure noticed by the driver. But this is not all. After the dismantling, I've noticed that someone replaced the AC compressor with one from Nissan's. This means that the air conditioning system has been recently serviced. This brings me to the question. Why has nobody checked the condenser's shape during that service? Its condition is deplorable. With the condenser in such a state, the new compressor is subjected to excessive thermal loads, making it susceptible to damage. And we all know the compressor is the heart of the air conditioning system, yet one of its most expensive parts. Therefore, remember to check the condenser every time you repair your AC system and replace it if necessary. Now it's actually a good time to do it. So I will install a new condenser, intercooler and radiator. Nissan's has been designing and manufacturing radiators for over 100 years, which says a lot. See the finish for yourself. Look at the radiator. It's made in brazed aluminum technology, which results in sturdy construction that is very durable against mechanical damages. Moreover, the core is equipped with double-folded fins. The tanks are made of fiberglass-reinforced plastic. All these features enhance the heat exchanger's thermal efficiency and lifespan. I chose a radiator with a galvanized frame from the Nissan's range. Let's compare it with the OE installed product, where severe corrosion is already visible on the frame after several years of operation. The galvanized frame from Nissan's provides excellent protection against corrosion. 
Also in the case of the charged air cooler from Nissan's, the core structure is very solid, made entirely of brazed aluminum. Additionally, the turbulators inside the tubes improve the intercooler's cooling efficiency when treating the air supplied to the engine. In short, it is an excellent design component, and the part perfectly fits the vehicle's layout. Finally, the condenser, the part most exposed to harsh conditions, humidity, mechanical damages, the impact of dirt and other particles coming from the road. Therefore, the most important feature is the anti-corrosion protection that Nissan's applies to all condenser models. Now we have the full set to perform a complete replacement. This turbocharger is still operational. However, let's take a closer look. The leaking oil is visible all over the inside, even on the surface of the compressor wheel. This indicates blown, broken bearings and seals, which is why the oil gets inside. The turbocharger then sends the oil to the engine through the intercooler and the engine burns it, polluting the exhaust gases. The turbo works, but it's getting damaged while doing so, affecting the engine's condition at the same time. This means that the turbo needs to be replaced. I've ordered a new Nissan's turbocharger to be installed. Let's see how it looks. Each part that goes into the vehicle must be intact, without any damage incurred during transport. Same goes for the turbo. That's why I pay a lot of attention to the packaging, the box fillings. Here's how the brand new Nissan's turbocharger looks like taken straight out of the packaging. Nissan's includes an installation kit in the product box, including all the necessary gaskets, fitting the turbocharger and the vehicle, plus a syringe with a prime oil, as the turbo needs to be pre-lubricated before installation to prevent it from starting up dry. The package also includes assembly instructions, a step-by-step -step guide on how to properly install the turbocharger. Beginners will find it especially useful. For experienced professionals, the guide will serve as a useful checklist. Keep in mind, each of the guide steps is critical and needs to be performed to ensure first-time right parts installation, thus its long, trouble-free operation. The introduction of Nissan's turbocharger to the market was preceded by years of research into the materials, design, and fit of each and every model. The engineers from Nissan's have tested and validated each of turbocharger models to ensure its excellent performance and longevity. But before you start with the replacement, you must also make sure that you have all the additional necessary parts associated with the turbocharged system and that directly influence the operation of the turbo. For instance, the oil pipes. One is the oil feed line to the turbo, the other the oil return line. Some people clean and reuse them, but it is strongly recommended by the part manufacturer and by the system experts to replace them when installing a new turbocharger. Time for a little summary and some good advice. Let's start with the turbo. Manufacturers of turbochargers assume that their lifespan is the same as that of the engine, provided that all turbo-related components and systems cooperating with it are fully functional. It requires a thorough diagnostics of systems around the turbo, for example, intake air system. In addition to the obligatory replacement of air filter, you need to check the condition of all air intake channels and ducts, making sure they are free of any perforation, bursting, wear and tear, and joints leaks. Similarly for the exhaust system, which has a direct impact on the turbo, check if the EGR or DPF is not clogged and exhaust gases are discharged properly. Otherwise, the turbo will suffer from too high exhaust back pressure leading to thrust bearing and turbine side failures. Check the crankcase ventilation. Make sure it functions properly. The valves are not stuck and the oil separator is not clogged. Otherwise, the high pressure inside the crankcase will restrict the return oil flow from the turbo, blowing its shaft seal and causing the oil to flood and be burned by the engine.
the installation has been completed and the truck is ready to go. In addition to the new turbocharger and the heat exchangers, the oil and coolant were also replaced. All systems have been checked and de-aerated. An audio and visual inspection was also performed to check if the installation has been done properly and to look for any possible leaks. But that's not the end. We still have a test drive ahead of us. If it ends positively, this truck will be ready for hundreds of thousands of kilometers more. Don't cut corners when repairing trucks. The results could be costly. Please remember that each component should be thoroughly diagnosed and comprehensively repaired. I recommend using only premium parts for repairs. Nissan's truck parts range covers many components, from small sensors and valves through large heat exchangers, fans, and ending with expansion tanks. That includes parts for popular truck models that meet Euro 6 standards. Find out for yourself. Visit Nissan's.com.